Hi everyone, welcome to my unboxing of Zelda Twilight Princess for the Wii U, including our little amiibo here. Uh, so this is one of my first unboxings I think that I've done. Uh, I've reviewed something before and I'll, I'll review this game and see how the support is for the uh, Wii U gamepad since that's what we're kind of all here for. But the other thing we're here for is this awesome little amiibo and the things it can do. Uh, one of the things is you can use it to actually access a new cave dungeon. I don't know if it'll be visible right there, but this is a whole new dungeon and cave system that they've included into the game, only accessible if you have the amiibo. However, right now they're not selling the game separately unless you buy it online, so I don't know why you wouldn't have it. But good reason to buy it with the amiibo. Also, you can include other amiibos to give you special abilities. The uh, Link will refill your arrows. Uh, the Zelda or Sheik will give you more hearts. And then Ganondorf actually is a downer. It'll make uh, you take more damage. So I guess to make the game harder. But uh, those are the other things that amiibos can do. And then you can actually save your hearts onto this wolf figure and use them later in dungeons or wherever you might need to. Which is a, sounds like a really cool feature. I can't wait to try that out. Um, and yeah, so we're, we're going to try, we're going to unbox this, we're going to see what it looks like. So without further ado, why don't we go ahead and open this? But not like anybody, we're going to open this like a hero. With this! Whew, okay, that was some work right there. But, I did it. So anyway, let's clear up some of this mess here. Okay, so, first off, here is our game. The new Zelda, you guys can see all that there. Uh, all the talk of a mule, this is the same stuff that's on the back of the actual box, so it's all the same. Same jazz, just no amiibo figure in the center, because that's right here, which Let's get to that now, shall we? So this is what we all came to witness uh, the opening of, is the new Zelda Amiibo. So I actually don't own any Amiibos, I'm gonna probably start collecting now, but uh, actually just looking at it, it looks really cool just in the packaging and everything, obviously this is the standard Amiibo packaging, uh, some nice artwork here from the game. Um, so yeah, I guess to try and open this bad boy up. <laughs> So there we go guys, this is the new Zelda Amiibo figure, in all its shining glory as you can see. Uh, they put a lot of nice detail into these guys, and this one especially I have to say. Uh, as you can see here we have Link's, uh, the fur texture already is quite beautiful right along here like they they added all that uh that depth to it uh link's eyes are actually blue as they should be in the game and midna her hair is actually uh somewhat see-through as since it is just a power and a fire and it even kind of actually looks if, uh, if i can get the right angle here it looks like a finger because that's how that's that's midna's hair as a hand that's her power uh, and then I guess so it's got him standing on the bricks because he doesn't fit quite on the amiibo pad. Uh, the tail's really nice texture on it. Gives it kind of that wavy formation. I really like that. Uh, the hair is all implemented right. The details on, uh, if I can get a, I'm a zoom in here, but the details on Midna's mask are just spectacular. Like, everything on this little figure is beautiful. So, there you go. There's the uh, unboxing for the new Twilight Princess Wii U game with the Amiibo. So, in a couple seconds here, you'll be seeing me switching to some gameplay, and I will definitely try and get some Wii U footage of the gamepad to see. All we're really going to be doing is accessing the map separately, but might as well. Uh, it's something that if you're going to play the game, you're going to have to use the gamepad, so why not be able to see it? And I know a lot of videos don't 
show you the gamepad. So I will try and do that. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into the game, shall we? Hi everybody! So if you're looking at this right now, you're probably thinking, wow, this looks incredibly weird. There's two screens that look exactly the same. Well, you're not wrong with that thought. Welcome to my playthrough for Twilight Princess on the Wii U. Now don't fret if this is bugging you at all, I'm only doing this for the first video or so, and then I'll be using just a main playthrough of the game. No Wii U pad at all. But for this little bit we're going to be showing off some of what this game can do with the new Wii U pad and the controls. So with that said, and our name already input, I'm going to go ahead with Link I think. I could change it to anything. Just not that original. I'm dealing with it. And to your horse name. Um, yeah, that's fine. Oh yeah, now there's a hero mode. Double to no hearts will drop for advanced players only. Oh god. Yeah, I'll just do the normal mode. So I actually haven't ever, ever beaten this game. And hi, I didn't realize I could see myself within the playthrough, so that's going to be interesting if you can see me there. Tell me, do you ever feel a strange madness as dusk falls? They say it's the only time when our world interact intersects with, uh, with theirs. Right, I gotta focus on reading. The only time we can feel the lingering regrets of spirits who have left our world. You remember Elvis? Ah. That is why loneliness always pervades the hour of twilight. But enough talk of sadness. I have a favor to ask of you, Link. Can you do something for me, please? I was supposed to deliver something to the royal family of Hyrule the day after tomorrow. Yes, I was. it was a task to, sent to me by the mayor, but... Would you go in my stead? I'm just a lazy shit. Nah, it's not up to it. What do you want? You have never been to Hyrule, right? In the kingdom of Hyrule, there is a great castle, and around it is a castle town, a community far bigger than our little village. And far bigger than Hyrule is the rest of the world. The gods created. You should look upon it with all your own eyes. <laughs> Fuck. You should look with all of your eyes, Link. All of them. With all, I look at it all with your eyes. Yeah, I got it. I suck. It is getting late. We should head back to the village. I will talk to the mayor about this matter. Take care of your horse, Link. You don't want to lose it. Be a lazy shit like you always are. That's why I've given you this task. Hopefully your laziness won't outdo you here. So I think out of all the Zelda games, this one definitely starts out the quickest. Which is weird to say here, but I mean, like, honestly... Most other Zelda games are like hours upon hours of talking in the first bit, and like, DQ Tree talking to the fucking fairy, and... You know, just all that bullshit, so... It's neat to see, uh... Neat to see an actual cutscene, I guess. And it looks so good. Uh, it's been a while since I played Twilight Princess, but uh, it definitely looks freaking amazing. The music in this game is so good, too. It's hard to believe this came out so long before uh, Twilight Princess, or Twilight Princess, Jesus Christ, Skyward Sword. Considering how much different Skyward Sword is, but this, I just feel like this is so much better. I don't know, the color palette. I mean, Skyward, Skyward Sword is much different. It's more of a cartoony style, but... Hey! hey Link! You there? <laughs> Fuck, 
fucking love these guys. Hey, you mind helping me herd the goats? They ain't listening to me lately. Alright, I'll be right there. That's what I picture Link sounds like. He never has dialogue, but we'll put it in there. Hey, where's Epona? Oh, that's not good. Didn't, like, the kids walk away with the Pona, like, literally the instant the game started? So, hey, look at that. We're now... There's a mini-map now on my game. The, sh the game haveth begun. Come on now, hurry out and on up and bring a Pona with you. I fucked that. Hold on. Come on now, hurry on up and bring a Pona with you. That is so what his voice would be, too. I'm not being a dick, I'm just saying, that's what his voice would be. God, it looks so good. It feels great. Like, last time I played this, I played this on the, um... The Wii, and that sucks. Oh my god, the Wii is garbage. I don't know what they were thinking when they, uh... When they decided that, oh, we should fucking use the Wii remote. And... Swing your fucking sword around while trying to control the game with the other thing and do all the like it just fucking never worked out And it sucks because this is an amazing game And I think I was, so I was gonna mention it earlier too. I'd never beaten this um, I've come close. I've come very close But I've never actually finished this game So I, I'm interested to see if I could complete this journey on uh, on this playthrough I it for you, especially the dirty places. Okay, that's alright, let's get a little weird. Gee, that's kind of creepy, don't you think? Oh god, alright, what's up? Epona works really hard, so I thought she deserved a treat. Her voice will change from time to time depending on how much I'm into it. Oh, but listen, Link. Could you do something for me? You see that long, hard stick over there? Can you use a piece? Fuck! <laughs> can you use? Can you use a piece of grass to play that song for me? I can always change your voice too. We can make it really fun. You know, the one that Apollo last. <laughs> She's just an uh, avid coffer or a smoker. So yeah, instead of um. Our usual flute, we now have this fucking thing. Because it's a thing. Blow. Press B to blow. Or press A to blow, actually. Is it B? Yeah. It's such a nice melody. Epona looks happy. She, I make her sound like she's got Down syndrome. <laughs> well, she's all prettied up now. So I suppose you can ride her back, but don't make her do too much, okay? God, fucking leave me alone. Steal my horse. Who does that, you fucking bitch? Where are we gotta... Is it... No, it's this way. I think we could jump that fence. I'm not sure. I want to say it's an option. This camera is really pulled back for this area. Like in the bigger sections, it makes sense because you you really want to be able to see. But wow, they pulled it, they kept it pulled back there. Oh, look, I'm home. The horse looks really good, except for that that giant horse ass. I always felt like the horse seemed really oversized in this game compared to Link. I don't know, maybe it's just the. Is it just me, or is a pon like a pona put on a lot of weight? This is a beefy fucking horse. Sorry, a pona, but holy shit, a power horse. Oh, that's what that was. So if you pull back on the joystick, it zooms out and then zoom in. Okay. See, that wasn't a thing with the Wii. I don't even think there was a zoom in and out on the Wii. Fuck. It was so bad. It was so bad. I'm so happy to be playing this with a controller. Even if it's the gamepad, I don't care. Like, 
At least I can see my map and shit. That's kind of cool. Look at that map. Um, oh, cool. I can speak to people on my horse. Oh, God. So what's the... <clears throat> oh, if it isn't Young Link, are you going to close down the ranch for the day? I just closed the shop myself. I'm sure you know all about the mischievous monkeys that have been coming into the village lately. Those things worry me a bit. I'd better lock up tight here. I couldn't stand to have any more goods stolen. Can't trust that good-for-nothing husband to do anything right. Come on, Dad! You can't catch a silly little monkey! Uh, well, no. No, I can't. What a great family. Uh, listen to us, Babylon. I didn't mean to keep you. Alright, off to work with you. Fuck. <sighs> oh, God. Alright. Oh, look, more people to talk to. Yay! Oh, God. I don't know how to do her. Is that a boy or a girl? I can't remember. Is it a boy? Fuck. Whatever, it's a kid. It's Whatever voice I do is going to be fine. Oh, hi, Link. I'm making a fishing rod, you know. All I have left to do is paint it. So get ready for fishing. I know a lot of the kids are going to have the same voice. Thank God there aren't a plethora of characters in any Zelda game that I'll have to voice. I don't even remember what voice I did for this guy originally. Oh, God. Ah, uh, great timing. Yeah, he's just going to have Link's voice. No, no, no. Oh, great timing, Link. No, that was the other guy's voice. Shit. Ah, great timing, Link. There was something I had forgotten to tell you. My son Colin is making a fishing rod. So the two of you can play together. Uh, uh, uh. He should. <laughs> Sad that I'm making myself laugh at that. But that's stupid laugh. He should finish up it up today, so you can come at at the fuck. Come get it tomorrow, Link. God, why are you making me explain these things? You know where I live. So here we go. Here's the uh, the. The Tusk Mammoth. I don't know what's with this guy, but he freaks me out. It's a mustache, but it those, that does not look like a mustache. I don't care who you are, that is not a mustache. Um. <clears throat> oh, Link! Looks like you're going to help Fado. Good job. He headed up to the ranch ahead of you. Go on. Climb up on Epona and get going. If you don't hurry, the sun will go down. Then no, sorry, my voices are not not very good. I'm not very good with voices. This is why I, this is probably gonna be one of the few games I'm going to do this on, but it's because it makes me enjoy it. So shut up and let me enjoy it. <laughs> but the, you're gonna notice that a lot of them are just the same voice with either a slight sarcasm sarcasm to it. Or a depression to it, or whatever. Like, just just a mood. Hey, yeah. But it's always the same voice. Girls and guys, same thing. Sorry to keep... Or fuck, sorry to get you over here in such a hurry, Link. These guys have been awful skittish lately. They won't listen to a word I say. Sorry to ask, bud. But how's about you and a pony herd them into the barn real quick? We ain't got much time, so you think you could do... No! Yeah, all right, let's do it. Much obliged. There, bud. There. Okay, then. Go on. And I heard all these little scamps into the barn for me. I have a big issue with uh, reading and playing video games and trying to do commentary at the same time. So, the trick to this is li th 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 this. Just do this. You just go in circles, and you know, you kind of make smaller circles as you go around, and you're just leading the goats in. Uh, luckily, actually, actually, yeah, there's no time limit for this right now. 
I think there is a mission here eventually that has a time limit. Oh shit, I got a straggler. You son of a bitch. Oh man, I really like the look of the uh, map on here. It's really neat. And they changed the texture too, like it's... Because I mean, they definitely use the same uh, plan or whatever with uh, Wind Waker for this. And it works out really nicely. Like, I think that map down there is pretty good. And I haven't even hit my items yet, so I'm sure that'll be even better. I'm just whooping. I'm whooping and whooping and whooping. How funny would it be if that goat hit him? Oh shit, what are you doing? There's left. Three more. Come on, shit lords. Oh, you little freaking... Mm. Come here. Come on, get in that pen. Get in the pen. Oh my god. Get in the pen. You stupid goat. I'm not angry, I'm just mad at the goat. Douche. Wait, opponent. Much obliged to both of y'all. I could cover everything tomorrow without having to trouble you. So just sit back and relax, bud. Yeah, because all the goats are in already. Oh, but how about today? Want to practice with the fences? Just wait a spell, bud. I'll get the fences set up. Whew, sorry that took so long. Okay then, y'all ride all out, ride all out, y'all yeah, fuck. Okay then, y'all ride all you want. You'll get tired of riding, just jump the gate and head back into the village, okay, bud? I'm good at reading, by the way. I am not good at reading out loud. <laughs> Which is why I also don't do a lot of games where I read out loud. But that won't deter me, let me promise you that. So yeah, we can just jump fences, but fuck that, let's just leave. There's no, there's no actual purpose to jumping the fences, it's just a tutorial. I don't even know why I'm really mentioning it. Like, if you haven't played Twilight Princess, man, you're missing out. I gotta say. It's a great game. That sounded interesting. I don't remember there being sounds in the save, in the save screens. Press down, then choose save and bottom of the corner of the collection screen. Cool. I love the music, too, in this game. It's so good. Which I hope I don't get copyrighted, but I had ended, hey. ended up stealing a little music for the uh, my intro and outro just for this series because it's just so fuck. I couldn't pass it up. It's so good. I don't know what that girl's voice is. I haven't come up with that yet. I'll come up with all three other voices when I get downstairs. But let me tell you now, there are gonna be some redos of voice. Like some, a lot of the voices are gonna sound similar, and that's that's just how it's gonna be. I don't have control of it. Uh, so down here there's a treasure chest, but you need the lantern to get it, so... You know. <laughs> Guess we won't touch that. Uh, so head out and go talk to these... Characters. And there's characters. And these fine feathered fellows. Ah. Hey! Link! Did you hear? They're selling a slingshot at the store right now. A slingshot. I wonder how powerful it is. I, I need, I must try it. Tallow, if you and Milo want it so badly, just buy it at my parents' shop. Do you see any rupees in my hand? I can't afford that thing. Come on, Beth. Can't you just loan it to us for a while? You know I'd get into trouble for that. If you two want it, save up your allowances or something. But our allowances are terrible. Oh, uh, wish I was born into a family with a slingshot instead of one with a water wheel. 
or maybe a family that actually had some money instead of one that lived in a village with absolutely nothing in their name and two sisters who are complete fucking morons even though I'm a baby and I know everything about life and the world that's around it. Got a little deep there for a minute. I'm serious, so this kid freaks me out. So... Right, that whole deal was just that we have to go get a slingshot. Hi, Link. I finished fishing Fuck. I'm not sure on this chick's voice. Or boy's voice. Or girl. Or man. I don't know. Could be a thing for all I'm fucking aware of. Hi, Link. I finished the fishing rod I was making. <laughs> Get back to the Down Syndrome, kids. I thought I'd give it to you. First thing in the morning, but... My dad said, you just wait until Link comes to get it. That's why I didn't bring it to you. Tad's out today, so would you ask my mom about it? I think she's by the river. <laughs> Horsey. In fact, that's what I picture her. His fuck. His? Her? I don't know. I don't know what that thing is. What are you doing here? Well, hey. Morning, Link. Got a day off from work today, my boy. Now me. The wife's been hassling me. Today's the day to restock a store. Look, see that? Up in that tree? You can get a better view by pressing right. The stick. And then using the right stick. Or the game pad. To look around just by the way. I don't know if these things mystical inventions are, but if you figure it out, go ahead and use them. Some Orton bees built themselves a fine nest up there, and I was thinking about knocking it down. I totally just lost the rasp of my voice for this guy. Our cat hasn't come home since yesterday, so the wife's in a bad mood. At the very least, I need to bring something home to her. Alright, so I still need to get the slingshot. Um, I think she has the slingshot. But it's locked! <laughs> or is this the slingshot? Oh no, this is where it is. Wait a minute. They didn't change the layout of this place, did they? Oh, crap. Uh, my, it's young Link. Welcome, my dear. You, you didn't happen to see my little cat out there, did you? He ate the fish we were going to have for supper last night. He sniffed a snarf. And I gave him a good scolding. But then he went out and hasn't returned. I'm so fraught with worry for him. I'm in the house and myself. There's a rat trap down there. That's how you know that she's lost her cat. There's a fucking rat trap. That picture of a cat was not there in the original game, was it? And the chick? Were those pictures there? God, this is going to be one of those situations where it's like I'm trying to remember what was there in the older versions and what wasn't because of the new HD uh, textures. Like, around here it's not that noticeable, but on little things like... I don't know. That wine glass, I probably wouldn't have noticed it was really a wine glass. So hold on, let me... Let me look around. They fucking reversed it, didn't they? They did. Yeah, they did. They fucking reversed it. Oh my god. Alright, so anyone who's played uh, Twilight Princess, if you remember the first town, it was, it was not like this. Everything that's like this right now was completely reversed. 
That's fucking insane. Like, they completely re mirrored the world, basically. Oh my god, yeah, because he was on this... Oh my god. I was wondering why this guy was hanging out over there. Wow. That's fucking crazy, because yeah, like, you still enter and exit out of the same area, but... I think they reversed that then, too.